Hi everyone, can you believe we're in 2022? Almost two years into this pandemic. But there is a light at the end of this tunnel. We just had our first interest rate hike, a sign that our economy is improving and also in conjunction uh, with rising interest rates. Now, in our previous videos, we would take two months the same months, but in two different um, years and make a comparison analysis approach. For example, we take June 2020 versus June 2021 and measure the differences in average unit sales, uh, the days on, average days on market, and also most importantly, uh, the average price, the price change. Now let's look at this graph that, we've, that we have for you and measuring amount of properties that have sold in Ottawa last year we can see that over 20,300 transactions have occurred versus 18,900 in 2020. And over the five year average, 2021 outsold all the other years in terms of how many transactions have occurred. Now for the residential category, the average days on market, in other words, how many days the a home on average is on market before it sold went from 30 days to an astonishing 18 days. The number of homes sold went up 6.1%. The average home price in 2021 is at $720,000. That's up 24%. That's 24%. And for the condo market, the average unit price has, uh, uh, has sold has gone up 10%. And the days on market are pretty much the same, hovering around 23, 24 days. But the, uh, the average price for a condo right now is $420,000. That's up 16%. And as for the rental market, for homes listed under real estate firms, 4,813 were rented out in 2021 versus 3,364 in 2020. Up, up, up in all categories of real estate. So what's in store for 2020? All signs are pointing that market prices in Ottawa continue to climb, but probably not at the percentage increases that we've been seeing since May of 2020. Bear in mind that housing supply is still at all time low, inflation, people that have need for more space, and with the economy opening up, signs are pointing that Ottawa real estate prices will continue to, uh, to climb. Ottawa will continue to grow as a more and more favorite city to live in. We have lush green spaces everywhere, great quality of living. We have all the amenities that a big city has while we're still maintaining a nice small town feel. We have a very strong and predominantly government and high tech sector, coupled with more and more businesses and entrepreneurs moving into the city. Ottawa will continue to become a much popular destination to live invest and play in. Also stay tuned for our next video where, where we will compare condo and residential. Which one's better to live, invest in and why? For now, thanks for watching. Stay safe, stay active and we're still selling real estate.